Sooner Scoop HD. Get back and get back in the motion of things, uh, get back with the team. Uh, it was just fun. I had a lot to release, so I had to go ahead and do it. Those first, first two series, and just anxious to get on the field. I know you gave third series, I guess, that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Just anxious to get on the field to play. Yeah, definitely. Um, as you see, I was out there having fun. Uh, it was just good to be back out there with my guys, compete with my team, really. I love this team. It's fun to compete with them. I was, as you see, we could do a lot this year. We're going to do a lot. Now, Brent said, told us a little bit about the background, about how you know, off the field, they take care of some business. Mm -hmm. How uh, humbling is that experience when they work you through that life? Uh, for me, I just took it as a learning period. I just took it as an experience I could get better. I got two more extra weeks than everybody else to prepare and get ready. So all I did was stay in the weight room, stay in the playbook. So when I came back, it was like clockwork. Was it tough to accept? A little bit, but like, you know, you got consequences in life and you have to accept those consequences no matter what they are, good and bad. So that's what I did, you know, you took what you got and make the best of it. That's all I was thinking about. And what was it like watching Tyler? Uh, I was proud of the man. You know, he came in here and did what he had to do. And I was, I was like, hey, he's doing his thing, you know? So you can only be happy when your guy's doing their thing and, you know, performing as they should be. How easy was it transitioning back into playing? I mean, just after missing the first two weeks, and how do you feel like the chemistry was in the group overall in the first game? Uh, I thought it was really good. I thought on my plan I could have did a lot better. You know, it's always improvement to be made. But these coaches, the strength staff, they helped me stay in shape. They helped me, helped me, helped me stay in this playbook. So it wasn't that much of a difference. Today, Coach Lonnie talked about you working on scout team to kind of help those guys. Mm -hmm. How did you approach that? Uh, the only way you can approach it is to get better. You know, you go, we're going to get Reggie. You're going to Reggie, R. Mason, Stripling. You're going to get the whole first defense. So all you can do is get better at that point. So that's all I was thinking about, getting better. What was that experience like going against those guys at the defensive line, especially the last couple of weeks? Uh, felt like fall camp. Yeah. <laughs> that was the extra two weeks fall camp for me, so that's all I was treated as. I was treated as, okay, we've been going to be going against top caliber guys at this point anyway, so right. why not practice against them? Anyway, so. How much better do you think it'll be for that in the long run? How many come? Uh, great, honestly. I feel like as long as I continue to improve each week and think about the little things, you know, they showed me, being over there showed me that I have to like work on my little fundamental things more and more each day. Cause you know, the little the little things is what's, what make it great. You know what I'm saying? What was Coach Beaton Bull's message to the offensive line after Saturday's game? Uh, stay physical, you know. We play a nameless, faceless opponent each week. So after that, we scratch that. Respecting Nebraska and everything they've done, but it's next week. It's time for Kansas State. How do you grade you guys for the Nebraska game? Uh, we graded out all pretty. We all graded out pretty well, but you know, there's always improvement to be made, especially with Coach B. So, where do you feel like you've grown, not just as a player, but also as a person since last season? Uh, maturity, definitely. You know, uh, like those two weeks I had off, it definitely helped me see a lot, learn more about myself, like. How you respond to things okay, is how. <laughs> how you respond okay, to things is way. how you know you are as a man. Yeah. So I took that as like how I respond. You know, build my character, build build something. You know, always find a way to get better. You know, because if you stay the same each day, you're not getting no better. How much is Coach Finnable something? Uh, that guy's a leader of men. You know, and hearing him talk each and every day only motivates you to go be better. Uh, like he said, the enemy of success, no, the enemy of our success is boredom. Yeah, success is boredom. So when you find success, it's important to find the little things to keep going and keep finding things to work on. Because once you do things good, you think about, oh, okay, I don't have to do that no more. No, Just keep at it, keep doing it. You can always get better. You, you mentioned the need for improvement, uh, mm -hmm. obviously, but I mean, the offensive line performance as a whole on Saturday, did that feel like there was stuff, real stuff for you guys to build on, especially going into Kansas State this weekend? Well, for sure. Uh, we really felt good running that ball. So that's something we're going to build on, we're gonna, we take pride in, you know what I'm saying? You could control the line of scrimmage. You, you can win the game right there. Right. Do you? T I mean, obviously the, the running backs, you know, running for over 300 yards. Do you take pride in that, you guys, as an offensive line, when you put up a number like that? Of course, like that play on the goal line when Marcus going in untouched, EG going in untouched. That that's that's what we take pride in. Like we want to clear it up so we make their job easy. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we really take pride in. We take pride in just being that tough physical team up front. Did Did you learn anything in the two games you missed? By like not being on the sideline, by being able to watch it, you get a different per uh, perspective. Uh, 
sometimes you almost watch it like a coach, you know? I'm sitting there watching it. Okay, I'm knowing the calls they make. I'm calling the calls like I'm staying engaged, you know? I'm taking vicarious reps. That's the biggest thing, these vicarious reps for me. That's why it was so easy for me to come back in. Like, I know the game plan, so I'm over here just making I'm making the calls with them. Like, so if somebody mess up, I'm knowing what's going on from here and on. He come, we come in Sunday, watch film. He asks a question, I know what's wrong already, so. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not opposed to it at all, you know? I enjoy it, but I'll probably do literally. I like kids, you know, so I, I enjoy it. Are you talking with the other guys on the offensive line through those first two weeks, or is it kind of like a you're just you know watching for yourself, kind of like what you can learn? Well, no, uh, I wasn't every meeting. It was in, it was almost like I was still there. Like I didn't like nothing changed. I couldn't change my routine. You gotta stick to it. Right. Sooner scoop HD.